And now for our business news, Deputy President Chigadi Gashago has assured investors and business owners of the government's full support, saying they will clear the way of un un unnecessary hurdles frustrating them. Speaking on Friday, when he graced the Kenya Association of Manufacturers Humanitarian Initiative 2022 in Nairobi, the DP said that the government's main intention is to ensure a smooth operating environment for all investors in the country. Go. Who's next? Deputy President Rigadi Gashago has said business entities will now have it easy when looking for licenses as the services will be taken online, saying that license will be consolidated and the current multiple license done away with. Calling upon you people in the private sector to partner with us in government through our public-private partnership program to build dams, to do desalination. We are open to the government of uh, the President William Ruto and Deputy President Rigati Gatishagwa is very much committed to ensure that we have food security and food reliability so that we can be able to feed our people whether there is rain uh, or there is no rain. The Deputy President said the administration is keen on letting the private sector to grow and create wealth without the frustrations normally associated with the government. Officers of government, the public sector, their role will be to support the private sector to enhance, expedite investments in this country. The DP said he'll soon hold a meeting with senior government officials to emphasize on the need to cut bureaucracy and red tape while dealing with Kenyans and investors challenging the Kenya Revenue Authority to avoid strong tactics in handling taxpayers, urging the taxman to treat all them with dignity. We have told the Kenya Revenue Authority, and I believe is there a deputy commissioner here from KRA? You are here. Sit down, listen here, and listen good. Taxpayers are your dairy cow. Those who have done farming, for a cow to produce milk, you have to be very nice to the cow. You have to give it some hay, give it some dairy meal, milk it with some good oil so that it's feeling good and the Europeans go even a step further. They play country music to cows to produce milk. The KMA's humanitarian initiative is geared towards amassing support for Kenyans hit by the ongoing drought and in seeing famine linked to it. With the ongoing drought, the deputy president saying the government was doing everything possible to ensure adequate response to the drought, saying the government was putting in place preventive measures to Kenyans to not rely much on food donation in the future. This is not the Kenya our forefathers envisioned of the 21st century. Today, an estimated 4.3 million Kenyans across 23 arid and semi-arid counties are food insecure. Among the affected are 900,000 children under five years, 120,000 expectant women and lactating mothers who require urgent nutritional support. Further, 2.5 million livestock have died, and this is a big lost to the economy. That is why we have met you today as part of our immediate response partners in alleviating the situation. Dolly Murugimbovi for Hope TV, Nairobi.